Father, Master, we thank you. This evening we wave to say thank you, Jesus. We wave to say thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. For you are God all by yourself. No one to be compared to you. That's why we say you are great. Yes, you are great. That's why we say, Nimela, Father, we say thank you. That's why we say, Nara, Father. We say we thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We bless you. In Jesus' name. Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty like this. And I'm so privileged and honored to be here today. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What shall I render unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall I render Unto, unto the, the Lord. Lord, all I am to say is thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. All I am to say is thank you, Lord. That you we thank. Oh, 
shall we render unto our God all we have to say is thank you Lord we thank you ah, we thank you feeding us, you've clothed us, Lord. Daddy, we thank you. Daddy, our heart is full of joy. 
We are in your presence and say, Daddy, we thank you. What shall we render unto you, Lord, for the daily benefit you give it to us, Lord? We are lifting a cup of salvation and we say, We thank you. What at all can we say, Lord? For you have been for us. And so nothing was against us, Lord. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. And come and speak to us, Lord. We thank you for the strength given to us, Lord. We thank you for the availability given to us, Lord. For the enablement that we can be able to come before your presence, Lord. That we say we thank you. Those that are watching, we thank for their lives, Lord. Individual, we thank for their lives, Lord. Take all the honor, Daddy. Take all the glory. Take all the adoration. Holy Spirit, have your seat and come and speak to us. And Father, at the end, we will give you your glory. I lose myself in the blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit, speak through me, Lord. Daddy, at the end, we will give you your glory. Daddy, we thank you. We we'll bless you. In Jesus, the most wonderful name. Pro thanksgiving. Amen. Shall we give Jesus a mighty hand of applause? Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. As Papa gave me the privilege, God, what a blessing. Papa Emmanuel, God bless you for this honor and the privilege. I deem it as an honor and a privilege to stand before your presence today. Thank you, Jesus. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and we want to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Uh, sometimes in life, we all, we come across, or we hear bad news. Or sometimes we come face to face with the disappointments in life. Sometimes things that you are not expecting, it will come. Then somebody will think that if you become born again, that's it. Everything is uh, milk and honey, popcorn, then it is done, then it's, it's okay. But sometimes you may be, you might be given a prophecy that is negative prophecy. And sometimes we are even accept it, whatever people will say, negative, we take it. And then we begin to um, think that, oh, uh, uh, the man of God said this, the man of God said that. And then we, we, we get frightened. Sometimes um, you think that, oh, I, I am okay. I am perfect. I am. I'm. I'm, I'm perfect. And so, uh, I mean, nothing should, nothing negative or nothing bad should come across my path. Sometimes I think that I don't think evil about anybody. I I don't talk about anybody. I don't steal. I don't do this. But then all of a sudden, something will happen. Bam! And then you ask yourself, Oh, am I serving God? Am I a Christian? We are all here doing our own thing, and all of a sudden, we had we had COVID nineteen. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, it's just like, oh, some say we have seen, some say this, some say everybody has his or uh, something to talk about it because it is, it is here. Sometimes we might not understand what the Lord is doing. And for a week now, I've been thinking, I've been thinking about what the Lord was speaking to me about. And sometimes when something negative befall upon us or something negative happened to us, the first person we call is our friend, our best friend, or, or maybe your, your church mother or the pastor. But what about if the pastor's phone is engaged? What about if your church mother's phone is engaged? What about if your friend is not around to comfort you? And so sometimes when we hear bad news or something, when we come face to face with disappointment, the best thing is to run to God. Whether good or bad, we have to run to God. Because you might call me and my phone will be engaged. My phone is mostly on silent. Maybe something will happen, you call me and maybe I will not hear to pick it. And you will get angry with me because I didn't pick your phone. Maybe you will call the bishop and he will be at the Bible school. He will not pick your phone. Maybe you will call the resident pastor. He will be working. 
And then you get so frustrated and disappointed. But if you are able to run to God, that very moment, say, God, I have come to you. Sometimes we think that God can do this, but this one, he cannot do it. Oh, this one, yeah, I know God is able to do, can fix it. But this one, I don't think so. But child of God, God is able to do everything. And the answers he gives is three answers. Sometimes the answer is yes. Sometimes it is no. Sometimes it's wait. But we, we, we don't normally take the wait and the no. We think that I pay my tithe. I'm very good. I don't fornicate. I don't steal. I don't do this and that. So if I pray, God should give me what I'm asking for. Hallelujah. Sometimes it happens even us. You pray, God will say wait. And you will not wait and you do something else. And later you will regret it. And so today I'm here to encourage you and I. That God has given us benefits in the power of the resurrection. He has given us power and authority to come before him. The curtain is torn into two that we can boldly go and say, Daddy, this is not going good for me. This is, I'm facing these challenges and Father, I don't know what to do. Maybe the answer is, child of God, wait. For a while, wait. Maybe the answer is, mm, no, this is not good for you. Maybe the answer is, yes, I will do it, but at my own time. I want us to, to, to read something. There's a man along with the Bible, he's a perfect example, Hezekiah. But before we go to King Hezekiah, let's read James chapter 5. Verse 16, the B. The B, the, the, let me read the whole thing. It's a, Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Availeth much. So that means prayer is good. It doesn't matter how the situation is, you have to pray. Sometimes, if you cannot even sleep, God is telling you, pray for somebody. Sometimes you wake up and you're going to eat yourself in the bathroom. God is telling you, pray for somebody a few minutes. So, the Bible says that, uh, uh, the, uh, Reverend, Reverend uh, uh, Seth was, was, uh, was uh, quoting when I came in. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. It availed much because that prayer should like an arrow and it goes and accomplish whatever it was sent for to do. So when we come face to face with bad news, the first thing we need to run to God and inquire, Father, what is happening? Father, what is this? I don't understand it. Sometimes even uh, physically our children, when they fail to come to us, they make mistakes. But a child who quickly runs to the father or the mother will always have peace of mind in his or her life. So when we come face to face with something that is above us, first thing we need to go on our knees and say, God, Father, this is above my understanding. Father, this is beyond my understanding. I don't understand it. And then God will have a way to speak to you. Before you call your pastor, before you, before you call your church mother, before you call that your friend, pray. And the answer will come from one of them. The light will be free for you to call. And the mother person speaks. You hear God telling you what to do through that person. Hallelujah. God always hears our prayer. And we should not underestimate the power of prayer. It doesn't matter how you it doesn't matter how many minutes you pray, God will answer the prayer. 
It doesn't matter whether you can pray one minute, one second. God still answered that prayer. But because we are sometimes lazy to pray, or we, our confidence is in our friend, or our pastor, or, or somebody we trust, we go to that person first, and we cry on that person's shoulders, and the next word will be discouraging words. Either the person will say, oh, but you say you go to church, you're a minister, you go to Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and this has happened to you. Your church is not powerful. Or your pastor is not powerful. And then you'll be so discouraged. But if you run to God first, before you call that friend of yours, the answer will be with your friend. Because God will give the answer to that friend because you went to God first. You seek him first. You sought God first before your friend. So there is power in prayer. There is power in prayer. I want us to read Isaiah. Isaiah 38. This is uh, a quotation that I think it's a very popular quotation. <laughs> Chapter 38, verse 2 to 3. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed to the Lord. And said, remember now, O Lord, I pray how I have walked before you in truth and with a loyal heart and have done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Hallelujah. This is a weapon that gave, God gave it to me some time ago when we faced trials in our marriage and that is what God gave it to me. And at the end of the prayer, God really answered it. Amen. Hezekiah was told he's going to die. Isaiah went to him and said, God said, put your house in order. You are going to die. If it were to be today, what will we do? We will complain, tell people the things you've done for even the man of God, the good things you have done for the people that now God wants to kill. Even your, you, you will say the, the witches in your family want to kill you. But the Bible says the man, the king, turned and faced the wall. And I love the prayer. He didn't pray. Uh, 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 we will say maybe he was boasting. No, but he wanted to put God in remembrance. If peradventure God has forgotten the things he was doing in the house of God. He was a king. And that time the king of Assyria was trying to destroy the nation. So he was praying and thinking that if I die, what? I don't have a child. And if I die right now and king of Assyria come and destroy this nation, God, what will I do? He wasn't thinking of his own personal interests. But he was thinking about if I die and king of Assyria will come and do whatever he want to do. So God, remember how I've walked before you. And in fact, I want to ask us, those that are watching, if God say you will go to die right now, what do you have to go to God and say, remember, what, what have you done for God? Seed you will not sow. We are amassed something for the house of God you will not buy. You will not help somebody. You will not do anything. And so what will you even stand on and say, God, remember? Remember what? What have you done? Remember I bought flower pot? Or remember what? If you look into even the house of God, wherever you fellowship, you don't even know what you bought there. If they are giving money, you excuse yourself. You say, yeah, but, yeah, but we came here for money. And then you, you dodge as if you are dodging something. You are dodging God. And now God said you are going to die. So what will you use to say God remember? God should remember what? God should remember what? When you, didn't even, when you have money, now we, we, our pay is 50% and 60%. When we are having 100%, what did you do for somebody? What sin did you saw in somebody's life? What good did you do? 
that God will, will remember you in this time that we have 50 percent. When you, we had 100 percent, you could not do anything with the substance. You could not support anybody. You could not support the ministry. You could not even pay your tithe. You could not give offering. You could not do anything. Now that the money is 50 percent, you say, God, remember me. For what? Why should God remember you? When we had 100%, we refused to give. We refused to help people. We would calculate and check and check and check and check and check. We came here for money. And now the money is 50%. And then we want to say, God, remember me. Or remember us. What had the church done for somebody? What have you as individual done? You that are watching me, what have you done for somebody that God should pardon you? If you God should say, okay, don't die. What are you going to do for God? What are you going to do? Are you, I mean, if God should say, okay, Corona, go away. What are you going to do? You don't support anybody. You don't help anybody. You don't do anything. All you know is you are there. Now, 50%. Some of you don't even have at all. So when you had the money, you didn't even do anything. You didn't even give anything to anybody. And now, we don't have. And we say, God, remember us, oh Lord, we pray. How we have worked before you in truth. Meanwhile, you are quarreling with somebody in the house of God. Meanwhile, you are, we are not talking with somebody in the same house of God. In the same working place, you have long hours with somebody. And you see, you have worked before you in truth, with truth. The thing is yellow, you say it is black. I swear, God. We are deceiving ourselves. And now we have to go before this almighty God. So how are you going to approach him? Oh, Jesus. Hezekiah said, remember now, oh, Lord, I pray how I have worked before you in truth and with a loyal heart and have done what is good in your sight. And the Hezekiah wept bitterly. What good have we done in the sight of God? So more forgiveness we cannot forgive. Hezekiah was concerned about the house of God before even his personal life as a king. His interaction with people, everything around him was for God. That is why he said, God, remember how I've, I've, I've cared for people. How, how I've loved people. How I've served people. What I've given, what I don't even have. The title is Remember Me, O oh God. But how can you go before God? Whilst you know that you, are, you have even longer heads with even the pastor himself. You have longer hairs with your wife and your, or your husband. And then you go before God and say, God, because he, he, he doesn't see us. He is with you. He sees whatever we do. Hezekiah was telling God. He wept and said, God, look at me. I've given everything to you. Oh, do I don't have somebody to succeed when I die, but I still serve you with gladness. I, I'm so loyal. I, I, I'm so truthful to you. I love you, Lord. I do. I'm serving you from my heart. So remember the things I've been doing. Normally, God will not speak a word and go back to his word again and say no. But the man touched the heart of God. So after whatever you are doing in the house of God, what are you doing for somebody? You are not throwing it away because one day you might need that seed you threw away somewhere and say, God, remember, I've cared for somebody. 
Sometimes you want to give, you don't have nothing, but God says, give. Sometimes you want, you want to stop doing something, God says, do it. One day you come to a point in your life that you say, God, remember what I did for this person. Remember what I did for the church. Remember. Jesus. Let me share this testimony. When the man of the, the bishop went to prison and I was in the ministry, they didn't know anything. I didn't tell anybody that the man is in the prison. I didn't tell anybody. And then God said, buy instruments for the church. I said, how can I buy instruments for this church? I don't even have money. I'm left alone with children. God said, buy instruments for the, your husband will come back. Buy instruments for the church. I was with two children paying their rent alone. I, I didn't have money. I worked from morning till evening. And then I bought the instrument. And then I had a daughter, Akosia uh, Heinz. She also said, ah, mama, I also buy the, the, the micro. She also bought, bought the microphones. And then time I pray, I said, God, remember the instruments. We didn't even have a, a drama who played the instrument, but I bought it all the same. So who will see what they will stand there? They will just make some noise. And if I, I say, God, remember this instrument. Father, remember this instrument and give me this man back. Father, remember the instrument. Every day, remember the instrument. For a year, he was talking about saying, God, I will not stop or remember. Remember the instrument I bought. And one day, he wrote and said, I'm coming home. After a year. I had no money. I had nothing. I borrowed the instrument and I paid with my sweats. Why? Because God said, try me and see. I said, okay, Lord, I am buying for my children. All of them will be, will play the, they will play the instruments. They will sing. They will do your work. So I bought it. I bought it. I don't know their names. P-H-1-1, everything. I bought all of them. So if you see Azar playing the, playing the instruments, it is God. He was about at two or three years old. I said, God, remember. Because I have no other person who I will run to except you. And I faced them. I said, God, help me. Has Hamba will laugh at me. And so, God, I pray that you will remember me. And lo and behold, Father, so Azi and Ami, then all of them, they play the instruments. It's a seed I sowed. Even when I left the church, I didn't even look back and see the instrument. I just left without taking my because it was not for me. God said, give it to the church. And I just left. And so, whatever we are doing today, one day we will need it to stand before I say, God, remember. Remember I bought the curtains. Remember I bought the chair. Papa, remember I bought the, the, the microphones. Father, remember. And God will just look at you and say, yes. And God will change whatever he has spoken negative about you and do whatever you have desire. And so, if we are called to give to somebody, we should not hesitate. And think about you coming here to get money. The money we will not get to. We will not get forget about you. You cannot save, forget it. If you are able to save last year, today, you have spent all the money. Because crisis is here. And so, we should stop saying, I came to Europe to get money. When are you going to get me to sleep in the house you are building? When are you going back? We are here. Now play if it doesn't go. So, we are all here. So if you have money and your brother is in need, your sister is in need, help that person and say, God, I'm giving to this sister because I'm giving to you. If the church is in need, don't say that we are raising funds for cutting, raising funds for chair. Look around and say, God, what do you want me to do something? God will say, I want to buy a flyer, a flowers. You will buy the flowers. One day you say, God, remember these flowers. That is what I do. I say, God, remember this thing, oh. I will not pray this long marathon prayer to disturb your peace. But Lord, remember that when I didn't even have, I gave this to this person. So Peter, give, give, give me something that I need. And miraculously, God will do something. Miraculously, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Jesus. Sometimes God will say, wait. Sometimes he will say, no. Sometimes he will say yes. But in the king of Hezekiah, God said yes 
I will give you 15 more years. And God gave it to him. And so if you have a need, check yourself that if there's something you can stand on and say, God, remember this pulpit. Somebody bought this one. That person didn't have money. But she paid. Nobody asked her to do it. She paid. And I think God is blessing her. So if she will say, God, remember the puppet I bought for you. Father, remember the carpet I bought. Remember this I did for you. God, remember. Remember. And the Bible says, he cried. He wept bitterly. Why? Because he has spent all his life serving God, doing good, sowing seed. And then God will say, I'm going to die. No. How can I die? I will not die. He went to face the world and said, God, hey, have you forgotten so soon? How I furnished the church? Have you forgotten how I bought this for the man of God? How I did this for the woman of God? How I did this for this person? God, have you forgotten? But because we cannot give, so when any, any challenge, we, we are afraid. But the guy went to God and said, uh uh. Prophet, you have prophesied. It's okay. You go. You have given me your prophecy. God said, I'll die. No problem. And then he said, God, you and me, we have to talk. How can you tell me I'll die? I haven't finished what I'm going to do. I have not even started yet. And you say, I will die. How can I die? I've served you. I've, 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 I've been loyal to you. I've been faithful to you. Hey, God. You forget this easily like that. And God said, oh, no. Biko, you will not die again. Man of God, go back and tell the king. Go back. I said it, but I'm lying. Go back. I've changed my mind. Go back and tell the king that he will not die. In fact, I'm giving you 15 more years. So we say Corona, Corona. If you have sold last year in somebody's life, if you have sold two years ago, today you will say, God, remember my offerings. Father, remember when I didn't have, I fed somebody. When I didn't have, I gave somebody something to eat. A cloth to cover somebody's body. And so, Father, remember me. And you see that God will put food on your table. And it's just practical. God, there is no money. Yes. I tell somebody that in this country, if you, if you see your bank, you cannot go to your bank. You can see the bank is there, but you cannot enter. Because the money there is not for you. And now it is 50%. So then you don't even go to the bank at all. Regardless of you passing by. But if you have sold before, if you have fed somebody before, if you have covered somebody before, and this time, God will feed you. And this time, God will clothe you. And so the, the king said, Lord, remember how I came and I destroyed the gods. I destroyed the high places. How I came and I cleaned every year. I cleaned everywhere. How I came and I, I put this in order. And he said, I should die. No. I will not die. Even that time, it was even before Christ. We have the privilege. God, Jesus has came to demonstrate his love for us and died for you and I. So we are even privileged more than the, 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 those old people. We have the access to go before and say, God, here am I. Without anything, we have the access. We have, we have the connection. We have the audacity, have the authority to go before God. They didn't have it like we have it today. And so what forbids us from going before God? And what forbids God from blessing us and listening to us? Because Jesus is there for you and I. He sits there interceding for us every day. So we, we have nothing to fear by going before God. We have nothing to, to, to be afraid of before going to him. He said, remember me, oh God. Remember. Remember. What have you done? 
in the house of God, even your personal life, what have you sacrificed that God, because of you, this lifestyle has stopped? Lord, because of you, this thing, I will not do it again. So when the trials come, you say, God, because of you, I stopped this stealing. Yes, I was stealing. And God, because you called me, I stopped this stealing. And now you want me to go hungry. I'll sacrifice for you. So you cannot let me die. You cannot, you cannot just despise me. I've sacrificed a lot. What have you sacrificed for God? Even your Christian journey. What have you sacrificed? That we can boldly say, God, because of you, I stopped this thing. Because of you, I left this business. And now I am for you. What can we give? What have you been sacrificed? Strength. Sometimes, so God, give me this. I'll show them that I have this. You will not get it. You will not get it. Me. Somebody said, me. If I get paper. Me. How I'll show you people. You will not get it to show anybody. You will not get it. So what I've even said, I'm, I've sacrificed this. I've, so God, remember that I, I, I stopped this lifestyle just to serve you. God, I love this gossiping just to speak your word. Daddy, I love this work just to serve you alone. So remember my sacrifices. Sometimes we have to be like children before God. That is why he said, before you can enter into the kingdom of heaven, you have to be like a little child. We go before God as, as, as we are big mama and big papa. No. You go before God as a little child. And say, God, remember. Oh, remember how I've served you. Remember how I've neglected everything then be there for you. How I, I, I serve people because I'm serving you. And so remember and then help me out. And Bible said, God answered King Hezekiah and caused the prophet to go back and say, go and tell him this. If I, I, I'll, tell, I'll tell, I said, God, I want me to disgrace myself. I went to prophesy and you are telling me to go back again and say, God says, Meanwhile, you, 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 are, you are a God that you speak, you, uh, you are not a liar. So, you want me to go back and disgrace myself? It's very interesting. And Isaiah was, he said, go back. He said, ah, but you say he's going to die. He said, yes, I said it, but go back and tell him that I said that. He's not, I'm even giving 15 more years. Why? Because he, he, he remember he put God in remembrance how he has saved God, how he has destroyed the things that need to be destroyed, how he has built the altar for God. And so God cannot kill him like that. So what are we sacrificing even this time? That we can say, God remember. What, what, what are we giving? What, what, what are we showing that God, this is what I'm doing for you. So God, remember my sacrifices. Remember my time offering. The, the time that we spend with God. God, remember the love I have for you. Who would have thought that it would be like this? Who might have thought? And so we have the privilege to do something for God. We should do it. Because the money we are, we, are, we are saving, we will not even use it. So we have the privilege to do something for somebody. Don't hesitate. Do it. Because one day you might need that sacrifice to talk to God. One day you go before God and you say, God, remember, I saw this seed when I didn't even have money. And so remember that seed and have mercy upon me. In the book of Corinthians, chapter 12, 2 Corinthians 12, 7, we're not going to read too much, but Paul was fighting with this, this spirit. 
And the Bible said it was a thorn in his flesh. He prayed and prayed and prayed. But what God told him is, my grace is sufficient for you. Paul, Paul, Paul issue here, God didn't take that thorn in his flesh. He didn't take it away. But he said, my grace will be sufficient for you. And Jesus also, Matthew 26, verse 29, 29-40. When he was about to go to the cross, let's read here. He said, he went, 26-39, Matthew. He went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Sometimes God's will for you is whatever you are going to go through it. That is when he will say no. Sometimes he will say wait. Sometimes he said yes. Jesus issue, he in some answer he said, but as, not as I will, but as you will. Sometimes you will find yourself in a situation that you think that this one I need to get out of it. You think you need to get out of it. But God is saying that it is his will for you to be in there. Also, they say, oh, be in there because my grace is sufficient for you where you are. Like he says, even though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I will fear no because you are with me. That means the grace of God is sufficient for him even where he is or she is. And so, if we pray and we, we always want yes, it's not always going to be yes. Sometimes he say wait. Sometimes he say no. Mm -mm. This year, no. Maybe some people are planning to go to Ghana this year. I, I also plan to go to Ghana. I also plan. We all plan, we all plan, we all plan. And now, God is in all way. He's saying we are not going. Maybe if you go, you don't know what will happen to you there. And so he said, Corinna, come and block my people from going. Because sometimes you go there, you don't even know what you are going to do there. Before I realized, he said, this person went to Ghana, the person is dead. He went to here. So God is all wisdom. He said, okay, then no plane is going. Even the planes, we don't even have the money for tickets. So we all stay here. You know, go anywhere. So God is, is an all wise God. But Hezekiah, God answered him and turned around. Why? Because he put God in remembrance. He said, God, remember how. When I came, I destroyed things that need to be destroyed. I threw them away. And now that everything is okay, you want to kill me to die? I will not die, God. I haven't finished. I have to deal with the king of Assyria before I will die. Let me pray so you kill this man before I die. And so we, should, we shouldn't go before God as if we, 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 we are too big. He wept. A whole king. He wept bitterly. Sometimes we go before God and then you answer the day and then you go before God and then you see no tea and nothing, no even sweat. Then you want God to answer you because you are a child of God. A whole king wept. Wept bitterly. Thinking about the kingdom. King, thinking about the nation. Thinking about if he goes, what is going to happen to the people of the, 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 the nation? What is going to happen to them? So God, remember. Remember. God said, okay, if he goes, I'll get somebody else to be a king. But God said, no. The heart of Hezekiah was so, so soft. 
I remember when he got the letter from king of Assyria, the way he placed before, they said, God, read, you have eyes. The man have such gods. He said, God, you have eyes, so read. You yourself read and look, read what king of Assyria has written to me. So God loves him. So remember, God, a God, you know you love me. I'll be, the way I'm with you, the way I walk before, the way whatever you say I do, I will not die. Can we go before God with this attitude? The man will go once he, he has longer held with their wife. The wife will go to the presence of God once he has longer held with the husband. And so, how can we go before God and say, God, remember? I don't know, I love the scriptures so much that it caused me to do things, even if I don't have time to, somebody will call you have to listen to the person, encourage the person. I mean, I don't even have the time, but it's a seed you are sown. Not if, if be giving money or material, but sometimes time to encourage somebody. Sometimes here to listen to somebody. Sometimes the time to spend with somebody. Sometimes the worst that you will say to somebody. It's all seed that we are sown. And one day you come to a point in your life that you also need those words. Today somebody called me my salt and I said, wow. I've not even heard that before. One of my spiritual fathers said, he said, you are my salt. So tell me what the meaning of salt is. And I, I, I told him, and then I said, well, if I'm wrong, I stand to be corrected. Tell me more about it. Somebody will say, mama don't need worse. I also need worse. Because sometimes you can be down. You need somebody to lift you up. So when the king was down, he went to go and say, God, you cannot do this to me. I've served you with all my heart. I've been loyal to you. Are we loyal to God? We serve God half and we do other things half. One leg is there, one leg is there. But the guy was only full with God. He was loyal to God. He didn't want to die because he was thinking about the rest of the finished work that he was doing in the nation. And so he stood and faced the wall and prayed. Today, I want wherever you are, I want you to face the wall and pray. Maybe you have heard bad news. Maybe you have been prophesied upon that you are going to die, you are going to lose uh, something. Don't accept it. You can stand and say, God, I'm facing the wall and I'm praying. But what do you have, how have you done to say, God, remember? That's the issue. What have you done that God will look and say, oh, as Hezekiah did. He said, remember the things I've done for before you. I've saved you with a clean heart. I've done this, I've done that. So you cannot just eliminate me like that. Even if I've sinned. Forgive me. Because forgiveness is in your hands. And if you forgive, nobody can say no. But if we, God says, you are going to die. What are we going to give? What are, what are we going to say that, God, you know, I did this, I did that. We need to change certain things in our lives. Sometimes we see only, only money. But sometimes it's not money. Sometimes devoting your time for maybe one particular thing in the house of God. Sometimes devoting your time for one particular person. Sometimes devote your time to something that nobody is even watching. You can do it and say, God, I did this. And I bring it before you. Any negative issue in my life needs to be changed. That is what the king, Hezekiah, he did. And maybe you are praying and maybe God is telling you that wait. We need to wait. Maybe you are praying, you are praying, you are praying. He said the answer is no. We need to obey. Shall I be upon our feet? <clears throat> there are things that in this nation that we need to pray that God should remember this nation that we are 
and wherever you are watching, wherever nation that you are, wherever city, wherever country you are, pray that God should remember you. That God should remember the church. Lord, prepare me. God should remember the things we have done. See, we have sued, seed of time, half you have walked before him and be perfect before him. The things we have done. God should remember you and I. Once again. Lord, we thank you to be a We are praying that God should remember the churches all over this world. God should remember us. The good things we have done. The sin we have sown. The love we have given. Some are taking of offerings. Some are doing a lot of things. We are praying that God should remember his churches. We are using ourselves as point of contact that God remember your children. God should remember us. The whole world, let's pray. Papa, we pray that you remember us, O oh Lord. Father, remember your church, O oh Lord. Father, remember your church, O oh Lord. Papa, the whole world, we pray that you remember your church, O oh Lord. In this time that we pray that you remember us, O Lord. Rakata 
Christianity. Some people have sacrificed their lives because they were doing the work of God. Jesus. Let's pray that God should remember their blood Jesus. and pardon us. Jesus. God should remember. God should remember their blood. Sacrifice their blood that they used. They allowed the youth sacrifice because of the work of God. Let's pray that God should remember those that have died in, 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 in. when they are doing the work of they died, they sacrificed their lives. For the work of God. Let's be that God will remember them and help us. Rasuta Badebe Bataba. Leba da Bolobo Shantarada. Rema Suta Bade Badaba. Reba Katadana Boshade. Whatever about Shantarada. Rakata Barabo Shande. Madame Barabo Shantarababa. People are shed blood all over them. People are sitting by the life of Lord. Papa, remember, O Lord. Father, remember, O Lord. Papa, remember, O Lord. Raso Tadadaya. Some has died, O Lord. Papa, some has died, O Lord. Katoya Tora Babaya. Do your work, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Rebe Kataya Dada. Reba So Ketade Bada. Rakata Bade Bosate. Bote Dada Bande Labosaya. Reba Kataya Baba. Rekata Dada Dab. Mato Bade Basotaya. Idara Basaya. Father, remember, O Lord. Those that spend their life for your ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rebo Sate Madaba. Eh, Dada Dada. Rasota de Bade. Rakata Baraba Sataya. Rebara Bosa de Baraba Sataya. Rakata Dada Dada. Rekato Basotaya. Baya Dade Baso. Aba Sataya. Rakata Bataya. Rebe Soto Dade. Abo Tatota da Barabo Saya. In the name of Jesus. Rakota Soda Dada. Thank you, Jesus. Ada Bataya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Doctors have died because they were saving people through this COVID 19. Nurses have died because they were saving lives. Pastors have died because they were saving lives. Let's be that God should remember their blood and have mercy upon the world. Pray Katota de Bate Tatata. Rakosa de Bate. Leba Tota da Bata Baba. Yay! Dabo de de Bosata Yadada. Lord, that they remember, oh 
celebrated the resurrection of Christ and the death of Christ. We are praying that even if we have sinned in any way, even the word, even, the, if, even if the word has gone astray, even if we have been cold, even if we have sinned one way or the other, he should remember the blood on the cross. He should remember God. God he should remember. Let's pray that he should remember because the Bible said the blood is so speaking on our behalf. The Lord should remember the blood. That day, that faithful Friday. Yes. Oh, Father, remember the blood, oh Lord. Father, remember the blood. Daddy, remember the blood. Father, remember the blood. Father, remember the blood and forgive us, oh Lord. Father, remember the blood, you Lord. Father, remember the blood. Father, remember the blood, you Lord. Father, remember the blood. Father, remember the blood. Father, remember the blood. Papa, remember the blood. Papa, remember the blood of Calvary, Lord. Papa, the It was the will of God that Jesus would die for you and I. Left to Jesus alone would have said, okay, let the cup pass. But because there was a need that he should die. So that our numerous sins will be forgiven. So that we will live. Yes. We are praying that the Lord should remember Jesus. that he gave his will because of you and I. Because of the world, he gave his will. He forgot his will that he might die for you and I. Let that the Lord should remember. The Lord should remember that day when he said it's finished on the cross. That day when he died for mankind. Father Lord, even if you have in other way, Daddy, remember the blood, oh Lord. Father, remember the blood and save the world, oh Lord. Father, remember the blood and save the world, O Lord. Papa, save the world, O Lord. Papa, remember the blood, O Lord. And save the world, O Lord. 
and save the world, O Lord. And save the world, O Lord. God is save the world, O Lord. Papa, save the world, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The church is you and I. The church is not a building. We are praying that whenever everybody, a Christian sister, brother, is, let's pray that God will bind them together yes. with the call that can easily be broken. Let's pray that whenever every child of God is that now they cannot go to the premises to fellowship. We pray that God will bind them together with a call that cannot easily be broken. The Lord should remember their meeting. The Lord should remember their burnt offerings. The Lord should remember our sacrifices and bind us together once again. Let's pray. Father, we pray, lifting every believer, O oh Lord, in the whole world into your care. Daddy, we pray that wherever we are, we will bind us together with a call that cannot easily be broken, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rekato Dada. Father, remember our best offerings, O oh Lord. Remember our sacrifices, O oh Lord. Remember our services, O oh Lord. All that we have rendered unto you, O oh Lord, in a time past, O oh Lord. Papa, remember, O oh Lord. Papa, remember, O oh Lord. Daddy, remember, O oh Lord. Rasuta teba de reba kata badaba raba ya daba daba leba tota tata leba ya daba daba leba sota be leba daba leba daba leda da leba to rakota staya rakata dada baya daba de baya Papa remember our sacrifices, O Lord. Father remember our bent of your Lord. Papa remember our time spent, O Lord. Father remember our unity, O Lord. Papa remember us, O Lord. Papa, remember us, O Lord. Father, once again, remember us, O Lord. And turn away, O Lord. Every reproach of the enemy, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rasata Badaba, Rakata Badaba, Rakataya, Bata Badaba, Rakata Badabo, Shatadada, Yeba Sataya, in the name of Jesus. We are praying that there is a venom in the corona coronavirus. There is a venom, there's a poison in it. We are praying that the blood that flowed on, on the Calvary, the, that blood should come down to wash that, 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 that poisonous virus from the corona. Corona can, it can be 
normal code, but the virus, there is a venom, venom, there is a poisonous. We are praying and coming again, this poisonous in this sickness. That let's kill the poisonous by the blood of the lamp. We, we come against that poison in that sickness in the name of Jesus. We kill every venom, we kill every venom in the mighty name of Jesus. Then you shall use the deadly poison into by no means harm us alone, like giving us the power and the authority. Papa the post, hey, child of God because some of us the love has been cold the fire has gone down we are praying because Hebrews 10 25 so we should not stop eating one another and as we have stayed home for so long we are praying that God will rekindle us revive us again according to his word let's pray that God should remember our meetings he should remember the way we meet one another 
the way we love each other. And Father, let's bind us together once again. The Lord should revive us again with His word. Papa, revive us once again, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Touch us once again, O oh Lord. Remember the word that we used to be, O Lord. The way we used to come before your presence with gladness, O Lord. And rekindle us once again. Revive us once again, O Lord. The Barabos Shadabade. Rekata Barabos Shadabade. Rekata Shadabade. Rekata Barabos Shadabade. Oh, Baba. Ransadabade. Revive us again, O Lord. Father, revive us again, O Lord. Father, revive us again. Daddy, remember the way we used to be, O Lord. Papa, revive us, O Lord. Rasa da 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 da. Bade bosha de baba. Ibala bosha. Ibala bosha. Da 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 bosha da bosha. La da ba da bosha da la la. Revive us, O Lord. Revive us, O Lord. Revive us, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The banner bus, the other guy, Rado da Debo Sotana bus, the Debo Shaka. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, I'm sure. We are praying for our children. They'll be having their exams from next week. And as they have stayed home, and learning on the internet. We are praying for retentive memory. Yes, Lord. That the Holy Spirit will quicken their, them, their minds. Jesus. Give them wisdom and knowledge. Yes, Lord. So that when, whatever they have learned in this period of time, when Jesus. they sit down to write, yes, he will put them to remembrance in that the they can write. Jesus. Let's pray for them. Yes, Lord. Father, we lift their children Father, unto your care, O oh Lord, we pray. Lord, in the name of Jesus, that whatever they have learned, O oh Lord, Papa, from next we pray that they did. We le koto satara babaya, rasa to ya we kato. We pray for wisdom and knowledge, revelation, O Lord. They can be able to write their eyes up, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Raso ta de ba da da, rako si de da bo shi da la masaya. Lord, arise in their minds, O Lord. Father, rise in your minds, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, arise, Lord. We thank you, we bless you. We give you all the glory. And we give you all the honor. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, empower them, Lord. 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 Father, the in the name of our Lord and our Master, my Lord and my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living Lord, in the name of Jesus, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Now anywhere you are, Lift up unto ourselves to the Most High God and turn together with me in the book of Psalm 68, verse number 1. As you have your Bibles with you, we are going to enforce the scriptures tonight. The German law has lifted the ban for all the churches. The very reason why they have lifted the ban is just to set us into the social life again. But now, to the best of my knowledge, they have not got the antidote to this virus. But yes, still, they say we should go. And how we are going, the truth is we don't know. 
But unless the Lord God Almighty protects us, nobody can protect us. Yes, Lord. And tonight we are lifting up a prayer that may the Lord God Almighty arise and let all his enemies be scattered. Yes, Lord. Let those people that hate him flee from his presence. In the name of Jesus. Any man, woman that is going to use the lifting up of the ban against any child of God. Jesus. May the Lord God Almighty rise up and stand out against him. Tonight we are lifting up a prayer. Now they say we should go. How we are going, how we are going to be taken care of. Nobody have an idea. They have just released us. But we are fighting with an unseen enemy. We are fighting with a virus, a cancer that you can't see them with our eyes. But yes, still we, we do not, should not say, oh, ho, ho, we are going. Where are we going? Jesus. Unless we run up unto the Lord. Yes, Lift up unto us unto the most high God. I say, Lord God Lord, Almighty. Lord, Lord God Almighty. Unto you do I commit my spirit. Unto you do I commit, you my, spirit. You do I commit my soul. Unto you do I commit my body. Unto you do I commit my body. Even right now. I and my household, I and my household. into your perfect hands. Your perfect Do we commit our lives? Remember us, so oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. If you right now, any forces behind the virus by divine authority, tonight we arrest them. We arrest them. Arise, O oh Lord, against all your enemies. Any man, any woman, any power, any spirit that will rise up as an enemy against you. Arise, O oh Lord, against them. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, we command a divine set free. Breakthrough, set free, breakthrough, set free, breakthrough, even right now, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray everywhere. Let God arise, let God arise, let God Almighty arise, and let all his enemies be scattered. Rise, <laughs> May you rise up against us. My Adesa. My Parosa. Hey, Kadasa. Hey, Madesa. Hey, Radoka. Ham Madesa. Hey, Baba. Ham Tadusa. Hey, Radea. Ham Makapara Kadosa. Hey, Tatata. Ham Makusa Dea. Ham Maparoka. Hey, Yadeka. Ham Makaya. For the Shabi. Among us, oh Lord, by your power, by your spirit, if you rise up, have Madosas, hey Kadea, have Madosas, hey Madisas, hey Mayanda, hey Makaya, hey Mabaya, hey Makaya, hey Masata Papa, hey Mama Mabaya, hey Makapa Papa. Psalm 23 verse 4. Yeah, though. When we walk through the valleys and the shadows of death, 
We are not going to fear any evil. For you are with us. Jesus. Your rod and your staff, In the name they of shall Jesus. comfort us. Yes, Lord. Tonight we are going to pray. Jesus. As we are still about to enter into them. The schools are going to be reopened next week. Our children are going to go to school. Our wives and our husbands are about to attend to the mass again. We don't know who has been affected. But even though when we walk through the valleys and the shadows of death, our children are not going to fear any evil. Yes, Lord. Our wives are not going to fear any evil. Yes, Lord. Our husbands are not going to fear any evil. Yes, Lord. But the Lord God Almighty is with us. His rod and his staff, they shall comfort us. Tonight we are lifting the rod. We are lifting the staff of the Lord to lead us, yes, to guide us. Yes, the Lord. blood is still working tonight. Yes, Lift up the blood tonight. Yes, Lift up the blood tonight yes, anywhere you are. Jesus. Say the blood of Jesus. Jesus. I am under the canopy of the blood. For we are not ignorant. We are not ignorant. We are not ignorant against the devices of the devil. Against the devices of the any devil. arrow of the devil. Any arrow, arrow of the array around the rest of the spirit. Against us, against us, in any form, in any form, the blood is still speaking tonight. The blood is speaking. Let the Lord Jesus, even right now, even right now, even right now, even right now, in the name of Jesus, let them rest and begin to pray right now. Even though when we walk through it, we will walk through the virus. But we will fear no evil, for he is with us. We walk, we will go, we will be with them. But it shall not come near us. It will not come near our dwellings. In the mighty name of Jesus.
for I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians for I am the Lord that healeth you. The word Egypt there is a symbolic of the world. And any second that I come to this world, it will have no way in our life. Amen. For I am the Lord. Jesus. For I am the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I am the maker of the harvest and the earth. In the name of Jesus. I am the owner. Yes. It is me that you gave your life to. Yes, Lord. And the day that you accepted me as your Lord and personal Savior. Jesus. I never rejected you that I can't take care of you the year 2020. Yes, Lord. I say I will be with you until the end of the age. Remember your word, O oh Lord. 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 Your word declares. Your word declares. Your word declares. That none of the diseases, including coronavirus, that you brought on the world. None of them will afflict us. None of them, None of them will come on our way. For you are the Lord that heals us. May you heal your people in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your touch. Remember your covenant name. That you are I am that I am. Yes, Lord. Remember your covenant name. That you are I am that I am. Remember your covenant name. That you are I am that I am. Remember your covenant, the word God, that you are, I am, that I am. He has released us again to the world. But we don't know what is in the world. But it is only they that know what is in the world. And Lord, this world is not our own. This world belongs to you. Therefore, whatsoever God that is hidden in this world, that they have pushed us to come to this world, you are the Lord. Your word declares that none None, none of this disease will come on our way. We take our children out of this disease. We take our wives out of this disease. We take our husbands out of this disease. We take our families out of this disease. Remember us, O Lord. Your main servant spoke to us. That remember us, O Lord. Remember us, O Lord. Lift up your hands and begin to bless the Lord tonight. Ah, uh, remember us, O Lord. Oh my Lord, I trust in thee. Lift up your hands everywhere at the sound of my voice. Let me not be ashamed and not by any means triumph over me. Oh my Lord, and oh my Lord. Lift up your voice, everyone, and the sound of my voice. I trust. Hey, hey, hey. Let me not be ashamed and not my enemies triumph over me. Tonight, oh my Lord, oh. Oh my Lord, I trust. Hey, 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 hey. Let me not be ashamed and not my enemies triumph over. Yeah, tonight, oh my Lord. Oh. To you, O oh Lord. Lord, I lift up my soul. Ah, unto you, O oh Lord. Lord, I lift up my soul. Let me not be 
your tithe, your offering, your love offerings, your donations. The woman of God challenge us tonight. But what at all do you think God can look at for you to remember him and say, God, remember me? For you to point at and say, God, remember me on this one. This is the time of your love. Say, to just love to God. I don't know where you stand. I cannot trust. But I stand on the solid rock of Jesus Christ. But holy the unmovable and unshakable. Oh, Christ the solid. Oh, Christ the solid. All of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. And all Christ the solid rocks I stand all of the ground by a sinking sand all of the ground is sinking sand and all Christ the solid My hope is built on nothing else but Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest flame, but only lean on Jesus' name. Oh, Christ the Son. But if you are not careful and stand in the room, you are going to sing. For he is the solid rock, and all Christ the solid rock. The solid rock I stand, I stand on the ground, is sinking sand. Within the next five minutes, I'm going to be out of the service. But make a decision of all that going to start. Because it is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him and his word. Just to rest upon his promise and to know that says that tonight it is so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him and his word just to rest upon his promise that you that says the Lord because Jesus Jesus how I trust how I trust him Jesus
Your voice everywhere and begin to bless the name of the living Lord before we come out. Before we come out from the service, if you trust Him, you can lean on Him. If you believe in Him, you can put your faith in your confidence. Lean on Him, lean on Him, lean on Him, lean on Him. He is the closest friend. Lay on him tonight. Let it be, Lord, according to your word. Let it be, Lord, according to your plan. And let it be according to your purpose. Thank you for the life of your maid servant, Lord. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adorations. This auditorium, God, we can leave, but we can never leave your presence. Tonight, let your second glory encamp around every member on this platform. Any man, woman that is under the sound of our voice tonight, let your blood that speak get more better than the blood of Abel be seen in their lives. We pray by the power of your name. We pray by the power of your authority. 
that thy will be done in our lives and will be fulfilled in the land of the living. This weekend is your weekend. Let it be according to your plan. Let it be according to your purpose. Your words are Satan never took advantage over us because we knew he devices. None of the trap of the devil will work in our lives. For we have escaped as a bed. And the snail is broken. Thank you, Jesus. And the captives are set free tonight. Thank you, Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you. Thank you for what you are about to do. All to your glory. We give you praise that there is no casualty. We give you glory for there is no victim that is counted among us. All to your glory, oh God. It is your divine protection. It's your divine upliftment. It is your love and your care. That is why we are not consumed. We are more grateful on today. Tonight, be the center of every attraction. And be the unseen guest in every home. Be the unseen guest on every platform. Oh God, as men are going to wait on you tonight, till the daybreak, we pray for extraordinary strength. Strengthen us, Jehovah. Give us another mantle of prayer tonight. And let us soar on higher and lead us to the path of righteousness. Let the deep collect even unto the deep. Drive us deep into your mysteries tonight. And let that will be done. We are grateful unto thee, O Lord, even now and forever. In Jesus, the one that died and rose out triumphantly. Bless every man. Bless every woman that I've given to your kingdom. In hundred folds and in thousand folds. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Before we share the grace, next week is going to be Women's Week. A very special Women's Week. Nothing will stop us. Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday is May Day. And the Women's Week, we are going to do it with an extraordinary care. Hallelujah. Amen. Women are wonderful. They are loving, so we need to handle them with care. So we will be with them as they come to us in our various homes. So Wednesday, Friday, next week is going to be Women's Week. And I know God is going to bless us. Hallelujah. Amen. He has prepared something special for us that especially in a moment like this, if you don't have that, then we are going to be in trouble. So don't be a dropout. And Sunday at Saturday 11 o'clock, I'm coming to your home. I have something special for somebody. It's a special grace that God is sending me to come and bless as many that are waiting on him. The power of resurrection is still at work. The power of resurrection is still influencing people. So Sunday, 11 o'clock, you will reach in your various individual homes. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift up your hands to begin to thank God before you leave this place. Commit yourself into the Lord. Submit yourself into the hands of the Lord. Bring your family under the divine protection. Pray for the spiritual protection tonight. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit divine. We give you praise, Lord. Let it be. 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 Unless you watch the house. The watchmen, they will do their best. But they will do it in vain. We leave every man, woman under your care. Under your protection. Let that will be done. Even now and forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Share the grace with your family at home. May the grace of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. You know, tell your husband your wife at home that you know, remember, remember me, O oh Lord. Today is the Queen's birthday. Don't forget, don't forget to give happy her happy birthday. birthday. Six, oh, somebody say from already. Birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear mama. Happy birthday to you. Oh, Queen. May God bless you more. May they. First May. May God bless you more. May God bless you more. Hip, hip, hip. A hip, 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 hip. A hip, hip, hip. Mama, we love you. We appreciate you. You are everything to us. God bless you for blessing us tonight. 
all your sisters, all your mothers, all your kids, all of them, they love you. They appreciate your gift. They appreciate your love. They appreciate your care. They appreciate your concern. We are more grateful to have you as our mother. Nobody can be like you. You are just the way God has made you. God richly bless you, Mama. We love you. Have a blessed night and have a sound sleep. Meet me Sunday at 11 o'clock. I'll be in your homes. God richly bless you. Bye-bye. Your grace the boss my mind oh as if for God oh you be my king papa so he be me na me mama this for you this for you queen one you are made as well eh? now this be a testimony testimony now this be my remedy only be you baba this be my testimony, testimony, testimony. This be my remedy. Only be you, Baba. Yana wuna wunye. Yes, why I want to share. Whenever I think about his love, it just the boss my mind. Oh, Yana me na me. Yes, who I am in your dish. Whenever I think about his love, he just the boss of my door. Now this be my testimony, testimony, testimony. Now this be my remorse. Only be you, Baba. Yes, who I am in your dish. Whenever I think about his love, he just the boss my mind. And I mean, I mean, yes, who I am, the Odyssey. Whenever we think about his love, just the boss one of my door. This be my testimony, my testimony. This be my remedy. Sanyara de na wayafa, Oma Isra in Casa, Radiadu Monadu Mo, Radiadu Monadu Mo, Oma Isra in Casa, Radiadu Monadu Mo, Radiadu Monadu Mo, Sanyara de na wayafa. Oma Israel in Casa, Radia do Monadu, Radia do Monadu, Radia do, 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 Radia do monadu mo, radia do monadu mo. Senyer radi ne wayafa, oma isra ikase. Radia do monadu mo, radia do monadu mo. Now this be my testimony, testimony. Now this be my remedy. Amen. Holy be you, Baba. Now this be my testimony, testimony, testimony. Yeah, baby, testimony. Holy be you, Baba. Send your rat in the way of far. Mama is right in Casa. Radiadu monadu mo. Radiadu monadu mo. Send your rat in the way of far. Mama is right in Casa. Radiadu monadu mo. Radiadu monadu mo. Radiadu. 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 Radiadu.